Gerçi başlığımı deyip ki, siz istəmək üçün də Şimdi biraz təmə Bu baxın, yəni ki, hədsə çıxartma Çoğun bir kos qarınız, mən ki, onu deyikəm Especially when they're cool kits anyway. We've got one large nut, one large nut here, just so I mean it's got a double ended short on it just so that you'll fan cover on it. Uh, you've got a screw on that you can cover, so bear in mind take note of that as well. So large ones go uh, top right and uh, the evil ones bottom, uh, bottom left. Put them to the side. And then, shoot, yeah, there we go. Then I need to go So just that. And you can put the condition the head as well. And you can see quite calm, so it's either most likely one in which or really quick two stroke as well. Right, to remove the extra barrel, get a mallet, and all you gotta do is just give it a wiggle and you can see that's pretty much free now. And what we're gonna do is rotate the piston so it's pretty much top dead center, so just so you can see it like that. And you've got the most room to catch it when it comes off. Just keep moving it and make sure you hold the car mod on the piston. Just like that. Wiggle. It'll eventually come out, so uh, simple as that. And that's the old boring standard 50cc. Done, and I'm reverse the piston. So that. Okay, so the next thing to do is remove the actual piston. So along those pliers, I mean, along the snow you can get, and then as you can see there's two grooves, one and two. And you can just pop it in, drop tight, and then there you go, simple as that, one out. And what you need to do is if you push the uh, piston in all the way through just like that and then I might be use this 50cc again so I can literally grab it out then bearing in mind you've got a small end bearing now between the com rod and the little end just take care of that and that's that piston done and you're pretty straight in there so make sure you take that out or leave it in there and make sure you can tell it if you are going to leave for some time that's the little end and then all you've got to do as well make sure you don't rotate it if you are going to rotate it make sure you've always got your little finger there or something to take from the combo it's a very important piece of the actual engine all right so you can also take the gasket off as well so it's one of the flat spots so you can see it's already off there and then just slowly bring it in and this is not a gasket so pretty easy Simple as that. And then just replace it. I mean, you can see there's quite a bit of dirt around that, so clean it off as well. You know, I mean, if you are using a paper gasket as well, what I'd advise is you get a, like, a sharp object like a sandy blade and just slowly cut that away. And obviously, make sure you're not going to get cut in there as well. All right, so next thing is piston rings. So, as you can see, that's a bare piston, no rings, no circlips, no piston pin. So, <coughs> piston rings are normally kept inside there just to keep stop getting damaged. I mean, you should also check that your lane gap as well on the actual uh, end of the piston rings. And these are brand new, so you should have no worry. So, just take them out, so just turn them, pull them out, simple as that. And the best thing to do as well, uh, I mean, normally some piston rings I know, like the 172 kits, normally have a T, especially like the PM, or like they've got a trapezium ring. So that means they're just shaped, but these are pretty standard rings, so. Got to bother about that again. So what you've got as well is two piston pegs on there and on there, which basically face the transfer ports, so I can get in catch on the transfer ports. So all you've got to do is basically pop it on. Best thing to do. Pop one end in. I mean, if you've got nails, this is an absolute beauty. So just like this. Put it apart. One. I mean that's that's the difficult part is getting once you've got the one down it's getting down to do so 
got now, nail, so it's pretty easy for me. Simple as that. What we're going to do is just lay it in the piss and peg. It's just there. And then the other one, again, using nails, I mean, you, you could you could leave it in. I mean, like most common method people do is pop it in and literally just push it all the way around. I mean, I find this method a lot easier. I'm going to do my nails. That's done. That's done. And push it down, push it down. Simple as that. Another one. Right, also putting your piston on, right, so what you want to do, you want to lubricate your piston. Oh. And then everything else, so a lot of your moving parts, uh, like I've got this small end there here. So I'm just using Sips Special. Get free ammo, which is fully synthetic, which is all good. And then just lubricate it there and put as much as you want. And then put it on the little end. And give it a lot of spin just to make sure the lubricant is in the hand. Just like that. And then with the piston. Bearing in mind the arrow on the actual piston should face downwards. So then all you've got to do is pop it in. So just take a bit of time. Just like that. And then what you're going to do now is put the circuit in. Make sure you push this in fully. So putting the other circuit in, make sure you've got a nice few supplies. Make sure you keep hold of it because they can spring out. Just like that. Just like that. And then again, same as I did before on this one, just turn it around. Make sure it's sealing correctly. Which that is, assembly, and that's all done for that. Right, that's your piston on. Right, so the next step is putting the gasket on, which is a metal one. Um, like the sports setup sites, something like a Sport Pro or like a Celtics Racing, etc., like an Evo, you'd have paper gaskets and you know, different thicknesses for measuring the screws. This one is pretty simple, pretty bulletproof, so because you one size, and just pop, place up to the bottom, simple as that. Right, so next thing you've got to do after that is pop the barrel on. So, the next thing you need to do. Just lubricate it, so easiest thing to do. You should just put your finger in, put some two stroke on it, all around it, man at the bottom, and then the piston will just carry it on. Again, what you want to do is really, really lubricate the rings as well, then I just like drip your oil, anything like that. And then just give it a little quick coating. Right then, easiest thing to do, I find, is if you just Put this one clip down, which is that, and then pop the barrel on first. Then you rest it on the actual uh, studs, and then this is pretty tricky. What you need to do is put both your rings in. So I, I, I tend to find that it's getting both in. It's easier doing both together. Then obviously you make sure the both in the ring plates, which is at the top of transfers. That's it, simple as that. And then that should just slide down just like that. There you go. After the barrel is done, what you've got to do next is the head. So make sure there's no swarf where the spark plug is or anything like that. Because obviously that may damage and then obviously causing uh, demontation. Right, now all you've got to do is pop the o-ring in, which is that. So the easiest, best thing to do is again, the best thing ever is lubrication. <laughs> so two stroke it all up and just bait and that will help hold it in place as well. A nice little rim out, just pop it in. Other ring. Simple as that. And then this bit, this bit is pretty satisfactory. I must say that. Pop it on. Simple as that. And then simple thing of just putting the nuts back on. So remember, I had one on. So top one, bottom left. 
And then the next bit I'll revise, I mean, using a torque wrench. You probably want to tighten up to around about 40, 45. I mean, most people can do it hand tight. So that's it. And then just tighten up. So you just do it hand tight. Again, in a nice star formation. So in this one, for this one. You know, basically just spread the load out and make sure the head doesn't move at all. And to the bottom one. And then up to that one, top left. Tighten slowly, again, always in a push cross. My hands are full of two strokes, so I'm going to have to catch it. Do about half half turn to about a third. Make sure that's nice and tight, and then eventually you get to about a quarter of a turn each. And then you just feel like you're gonna get tighter and tighter. Yeah, right, so after that's done, all it is is this. I mean you can put duct tight on these but I mean, what in the position now we're in, uh, it's pretty useless. So, I mean, unless you can get a high temp lap right. And all I do is literally put a flat washer, a uh, spring washer, and then a, a six and a half lap, which is stainless. Make sure it's all stainless as well. And that'll give you no problems. Okay, so next step would be just to talk the entry head up. Uh, the main tool ones aren't expensive nowadays. I mean, I probably bought this one for 25 quid. Uh, Pretty sure it's Amazon. What well, it is is dry powder does pretty sure from 12 to 80. 10 to 80, and so exactly what you need on this sort of screw. Not going to need much more, anything more than that. It's going to be more of a car one. Prep drive, just what you need. So, uh, head nuts, which I'm going to do now, should be around about 10 to 15 millimeters. So, I think the 10 do that's it. So, do 14, which is maximum, which is locked up now. And what we should do is a nice click as well. Okay. Turn in that same order. You hear that? And that's all we need to do. Inside and it won't talk up to the proper setting, so you always make sure it's uh, undone. Right, also, now you're going to put any sports, line up the holes you can actually see. So that's lined up. You can see the actual spark plug is off center, I mean, the actual center Piego hole. So, what you need to do is just literally cut that off or file it off with a Dremel or anything like that. All it means is just basically the actual head on the sport is a uh, center fire so which basically means it's making more power than the standard head and then um, all you need to do is just uh, so the actual cover doesn't interfere with the actual spark for the cap just, just mill it off or drill it off or whatever just make sure then that'll be a pocket fit then so just make sure you can see that uh, again so you can see see how off it is 